Hey guys, it's Ryan here, uh, and today we're going to be uh, continuing our graphing program series, uh, probably the last episode, uh, and I'm just going to delete these classes. This was just part of an experiment I was doing, Let's see if something would work, sorry, um, I don't know why I used this. But I did, because I'm stupid. Uh, and also, so, oh, oh, this is part of the thing. I'm trying to do it differently. Um, so if we run this, look, our graph is there, but also I added this little thing so that it looks nice and all the boxes are there. What I did is just kind of experimented with the values. So I went over here, and I should also change this to 19. Leaf. Um, and if you run this now, this should work. Oh, it should be 18, because Without an increment, with an increment of one, uh, there will be 18 numbers. So, it'll always be a multiple of 18, so I did that. But, I also added 19 over there. But, yeah. So what I did was I said, draw from... Draw from the top, which I made was 8. And I also added 188 here, so if you want to do that, I also changed these to 18 so there will be less calculations. So yeah. So. You might want to add this if you want your just to look a little bit better. Uh, you don't have to, um, but and also I added this. Well, no, I'm going to add this. Uh, we'll say 18 again. So yeah, that's perfect. Um, but that's not actually what I wanted to do exactly today. What I wanted to do was create two new classes. One called data structure, which is exactly what it sounds like. Um, or not, that's not going to be public private. Uh, array list. This is not going to have a constructor, it's just going to be kind of functions, but it's, it's because you're going to set all the values in constructors. So yeah. So we're gonna say plotted point, array list of plotted points, data equals new array list. Plotted point. Now we can have public. Um, void calculate. We're gonna have string equation and then limit. Uh, we do this because we're just gonna have data, and this because we want a limit so it just doesn't go off to infinity. Four int x equals equals zero. So we loop through the x's because usually we might be able to loop through the y's, but usually you loop through the x's when you're making something or a graph. X equals or x 
is less than or equal to limit x plus plus. Now we're going to say double y equals double dot not a number or nan. Sometimes they call, like to call that nan because it's ridiculous and it's funny. I don't know. We're gonna have a try catch here. Say y equals equation dot calculate and equation and dot double value. Or don't don't mind that for now. E dot print stack trace. Don't mind the error for now. Um, oh, okay. We're just. I think we're just gonna keep it like that. Actually, we're not gonna do anything. If y equals double dot nan. Or double dot nan, or whatever, which means not a number, of course. Um, we're just gonna say clear. Public void clear. And this is gonna just set the data to a whole new array list so it clears it and leaves no residue. Not residue, I don't know what I was trying to say. Probably know what I mean. <sighs> this should be MLG. I don't know what I was trying to say. Really weird. And we're also going to have a function apply to graph. And we'll say graph, graph, and graph. And I guess we don't need to have this be static. I don't know what I was trying to say. Do it, trying to do. Um, but yeah. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say we're just gonna add a new plotted point at x and y, not a new plotted plotted point. After that loop, oh, we should be good. I'm just gonna say apply to graph and graph. And this method will just do what it says. Apply it to the, this graph that we pass in. So we're just gonna say graph equals data. No. no. Graph dot set points in data. So yeah, it's pretty simple. My other one, I just had a bunch of stupid things like exponential function to be y equals x squared, like a proportional relationship, stuff like that. And now comes the, that equation part, which is the hard part. We should have public static number no. calculate into x or no, I think it was 
think we did the integer string equation. Or we'll just release it as e and it x. Let's check if we did that. Oh, and we should have added x. We're gonna have script engine manager mgr, which is manager. Close new script engine manager. This is just gonna run this as a script. And then I think we have script engine. JS. I think that's it. Yeah. Equals mgr dot get engine. I think we'll just do JavaScript. Um, JavaScript. Yeah. JS. Dot eval. Y equals number Y equals number. We're just, this is originally an object, so we have to cast it to number. And if we didn't cast it to number, it would be really weird. So now we're just going to start on this button, try to catch. And we should probably put the number outside. Number y equals... Uh, number y equals null. For now, if y equals no, I guess we'll just return zero. But if not, return y. So, this should work, but not how we want it to. We're gonna have to, should put X, oh, okay. We didn't add an action listener. So we have the action performed, and we just say data structure, DS equals new data structure. Just to calculate, and we're gonna say equation editor dot get text, and this one should just be there. Should be what is it? Oh, it's eighteen divided by. Graph to get in grid. Oh, we don't have get in grid, but we should probably make that, and that will return. Of course, we're obviously going to return an increment. And of course, put graph. Should work. I guess not. So Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> we did not define to re E equals E dot replace. And we're gonna say X dot or string dot value of x or we're just gonna say place x 
string dot value of x. Mix that up. Sorry. X. We're gonna add more of these replaces. That's technically what the calculator is built on. Well, actually, no, it's not built on that, but you should know what I mean by that. Ah, good, okay. And great. Okay, this seems to be working perfectly. Except for that little one stumble. Not stumble, that was stupid. Okay, we could also do like two times x. But we cannot do like operations like sine yet. Sine, cosine, uh, like power, like to powers, like squared. So yeah, this looks awesome. Perfectly great. X. 2.5 times X. And that works. In my other one, I also added, like, shortcuts for things like pi and uh, E. And where did it go? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's it's great. We could do replace e with string dot value of. I keep saying veil of. Um, what is it? Number dot not number. <laughs> Double. Oh, it's math. Math dot e. Oh, it's math dot e capital. It's in capital. Okay, we can just copy this, pi, so now, see pi times x, and I should multiply pi by x. And you see how it's not just like rounding to an integer. You see how it's like moved up a little. This is totally moved down. Uh, it is actually trying to move it to a decimal place. We just, the screen's too small to label it. But you should be able to get a pretty good approximation of what it is. So, yeah. I think I will speed this up and I will just do a bunch of just functions and stuff such as like sine and logarithms and probably not logarithms well yeah logarithms um, but yeah let the speed up begin I just did a little hand motion even though I know that you can't see my face. Let the speed up begin. All right. That should be good for now. Um, you can pretty much add any of these. All you gotta do is maybe, maybe all you gotta do is just add an e equals e dot replace. Well, you, you pretty much have all these except you gotta do math dot. So you don't want to do that. So a little bit of lines can replace a lot of suffering. Well, not really. I don't know. But, so now you can see that we have sine of x. And we can say calculate. And this took a little while. And we have a sine wave. 
and we'd say sine x times 3. And we got, I don't know, sine wave with more of a curvature. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not using that word right. Alright, so I hope you guys liked that tutorial, and goodbye.